far away. But I remember certain things, like what they wore, which wasn't anything special. Pants, shirts, regular colors, stuff I've seen thousands of times since. I wanted them to know something. I cupped my hands around my mouth and thought about yelling out, but they wouldn't have hurt me. Besides, I didn't belong there. In 1986, when someone discovered that they had AIDS, it was more or less a death sentence. Mm -hmm. It was thought that if you had AIDS, you would die, and many people did. Our friends in the dance and art community did pass away yeah. during that time. So a lot of the pieces in response to that. But it's also not only about AIDS. It's about men and how some ways in which men connect or disconnect. Mm -hmm. emotions uh, mm -hmm. come out of that um, because partly because of the time it was made <clears throat> both in for the reason of AIDS but also political turmoil um, the, United, well, the United States is always in wars but <laughs> there were wars in Central America mm -hmm. and the Iranian hostage crisis and many different things for Ronald Reagan Ronald Reagan was president yes <laughs> Um, AIDS is never mentioned in the text of the piece. Mm -hmm. It's sort of mentioned symbolically, but never directly. Um, so actually transmitting that information, that sort of emotional information to the younger dancers was very informative and helpful for us. Mm -hmm. I put such incredible faith in the future that I sobbed a little, I think. I can't believe I once felt what I'm talking about. Those tangled guys have become an abstraction, a gesture, a recreation. So the, the play has become more universal now? Yes, I think so. It's about violence, it's about the struggle to get together, to connect somehow, particularly men with men, of how that works and does not work sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of violence in the piece. What made you recreate the thing now? Actually, someone asked me. <laughs> <laughs> um, the director of Vallejo Gantner at Performance Space 122, they're actually renovating their theater so they're going to be closed for a year and he wanted to bring back some important work from their past as they're like 30 years old and they wanted to bring back important pieces and he asked me if I would want to revive some piece, not particularly this one. And, I, and Dennis and I haven't worked together for many years and I thought it would be an excellent way for us to reconnect. And it was a very important piece and not that many people saw it originally. Okay. It just sort of ran for like two weekends, like six performances. So mm -hmm. It has become legendary. And then it toured to Canada, but that was, and then it was it's gone. It's a great way to become a legend. Yes, <laughs> to not do it very often, <laughs> yes. Um, and we thought, oh, this would be really interesting to do and to see, and also to sort of see how a younger generation is re responding to the material. And how do they respond? It's interesting. We, we, uh, we were having an improvisation where they had to speak about their relationship to AIDS, HIV, and they, uh, they all sort of started saying, oh, I, I don't have any relationship, but as we kept probing and talking, they actually do, and like a cousin or somebody they dance with or and they would remember, or actually having to take a test, you know, it was all, it, like subconsciously, they mm -hmm. immediately all said, well, we don't have any direct, but after we began talking more, they actually did. And um, the violence is still prevalent in the society. You know, homophobia is, so. Yeah.